A minute, please. I'll be right with you. Go to your room, honey. Daddy has a guest. I would assume you've come here to assassinate me. But your outfit... It doesn't look like someone who would like to sit in my chair. I do apologize for my rudeness. My name is Boris. I am the administrator of this fine factory. Look, I don't want to kill you. Not in front of your daughter. I'm just here for the weapons. Weapons? Mister, do you have any idea what we produce in this factory? Not weapons? Not weapons. What are those things? Those things are called cremators. You could say they are, in a way, extremely efficient and overzealous janitors. The Combine are planning to spread them throughout the rest of the world. Get rid of the refuse, the detritus, the trash. Keep the streets clean. But in this case, we are the trash. Are those children? <sighs> yes. This is how they control all the new generations. The Combine raises them as slaves, forcing any child older than the age of five to start to work. What about those younger than five? There are none. How many are there in this factory? About a hundred. I know what you think, and I have the same feelings. It disgusts me, but I have to work for them. For my daughter, that's the only way. I don't think that's disgusting at all. Excuse me. Think about it. Wasn't the main reason we were trying to go to space for decades for the resources? If we had the power to enslave them, wouldn't we? Hell, we enslave our own kind. We couldn't care less about an alien race. That's just nature playing out its own game. It's always been between predator and prey. That's the balance. But this time... The tables are turned. They got to us before we got to them, pulling our resources, draining the oceans, enslaving humans. Enjoy your time while you can, Boris, because sooner or later humans will rise up and put a stop to this. But this time around, humans won't even last seven hours. They won't stop with the military. They will come for all of us, even for you and your daughter. You are a wise man indeed. Even though I do not share the same feelings as you, I have to agree that, with what you say, you are correct. We just may be closer to the end sooner than we think. But there is a difference between you and me. Until that day, I will not give up on humanity. You're a good man, Boris. Now get out of here. Take your daughter and leave. What do you have in mind? I'm going to burn the whole factory to the ground and take those kids with me. You will do this for the children? Well, I will, but not for the children. I need an army. Right after you get out of that room, I have to alarm the Combine. You know that, right? Do what you have to do and leave. Even if you don't do this for the children, I do appreciate it. And I won't forget that. Mitchell. Thank you, Mitchell. We'll meet again. We will.
Captain. Hello, Captain. Hello, Captain. Yes, Captain. Hello, Captain. I just don't understand why it's such an important thing. The captain needs to see it. The captain... needs to see what? Was gone, now it's back. A gift for the captain. Do you recognize it? Where did you find this? One of our guys, Kane, found this in the middle of the water. He was trying to hide it, but we caught him. Captain, isn't this... Everybody get out! Get out! I said get out! We meet again at last. You. Authority, power, and time. We have kept our promise, Mr. Mitchell. We gave you all the treasure you could possibly ask for. That wasn't treasure, it was a curse! All this power does nothing but kill. Authority only to murder. Nothing but the power to kill my own men. And this time, nothing but endless torture. Let me recall again, Captain. Whoever it takes. Whatever it takes, however long it takes, that was the deal, and now the time has come again. We require your services. We need you to kill Dr. Freeman.
If there is someone to blame for all of this, all of the suffering, it's the free man himself. Take it all back. I don't want it. I don't want the power, the authority, not even the time. I just want it to end. Freeman can go to hell. Sadly, I have to inform you. It's not that easy. You see, Captain, from now on, our agreement is coming due. We've done our part, and now it's your turn to do yours. Or else? Then I have no option but to let you get in a battle that you have no chance of winning. Now, pardon me. I have to take this back to its owner. Do not be late. City 17 awaits. Alex. Yes, Captain? Assemble the men. Aye, aye, Captain. Captain, what's going on? We have to go to City 17. City 17? But why? Gordon Freeman is back. Somehow we have to find a way to reach the Combine and convince them to side with us so we can hunt down Freeman together. Whoa, 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 slow down. Reach the Combine? Gordon Freeman? Captain, are you mad? You hear what you're saying. I'm well aware of what I'm asking, Nick. Mitchell, even if that was true, you know what that means, right? People will die. Are you willing to lose everything we have? Everything we have? <laughs> we don't own anything, Nick. We just borrowed it. Even our own lives. We weren't meant to live this long. Mitchell, I, I beg you. Please don't do this. This is madness. You're gonna get us all killed. We've survived for 20 years on this ship, and every single time we step foot on that land, too many innocent lives are taken. Those kids you took, didn't they have enough? <sighs> you don't care for any of them, do you? You never did. Just used them. Do what the hell you gotta do. But I'm not gonna be a part of this. God help us. No. God will stay away from this one.
My men. For more than a decade, we fought together. We bled. We took lives, and we lost some dear to us. We did what we had to, to survive. We knew no sin, nor honor. Long ago, I knew this day would come. The day we would have to face a bigger threat. The day we would have to make a choice. Until this day, we have lived our lives freely. But there is a hard truth we must now face. Sooner or later, the Combine will drain the ocean completely, and there will no longer be any place for us to hide anymore. It is time to take action. Time to pick a side. When kings fight for their thrones, they sacrifice the ones they deem unworthy. I am not a king, nor royalty. Today I stand with you as one of your own. I ask you, my brothers, to fight with me and show them who we are, what we are capable of, our strength and resolution, our bullets and our blades, our courage and our cruelty. Gentlemen, we are going to City 17. This is the wrong way. 